Hey, I'm Deasia, and today I'm going to be doing a decor video. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to style or how I styled my built-in bookshelf. So, let's get started. I moved into a studio apartment, as I stated in my first video, and in the studio apartment, they had a bookshelf. The owner actually put a bookshelf to give the room more real estate. More. When I moved here, I didn't really have that many things, like that many nice things that I wanted to like display. I found it to be very hard at first. I started with like little items and then they just wouldn't go together and it kind of made the room look cluttered until I came with the way I decorated it this way. When you design your bookshelf, you want to have different goals in mind. My goals personally were storage and actually incorporate different colors into the room to transition from room to room. That was my two goals and everything else was just pretty much thrown in there. So let's start with the first shelf. So I really wanted gray boxes to actually incorporate the couch that I had. So I found these two gray boxes at Ikea. They are the most inexpensive yet high quality boxes that I have found. They actually look nice and chic and that was another thing that I wanted. I didn't want anything with too much of a pattern because I would have threw off everything else and I decided to get two of those to balance it out. And as you'll see throughout the, all the shelves, they have some type of balance there. Next shelf I have picture frames and in those picture frames I decided to actually put uh, photo booth pictures in there from different weddings that I went to this past summer and that's what's in there now. In the middle you'll see a vase that incorporates the same color and freaking pattern as my rug. Like how perfect is that? After I got my rug, I found that and I was like, oh, gotta get it. And it was only $16.99. The two picture frames were dollar at the dollar store. The next shelf you'll see, I wanted some type of greenery on the shelves. And so I love fresh flowers as you'll see once I do my apartment tour, there's flowers all over my house. But on the shelves, I wanted something, fresh flowers all over my house. But on the shelves, I needed something that was gonna last a little bit longer. Two planted grass boxes at Marshall's, and they were only $14.99. In the middle of those, I have the kissing giraffes that I got from South Africa when I visited my boyfriend, and I have a candle. On the same shelf, I have a globe, and I found this globe. I love this piece. I thought it was so, it looks so rich and so beautiful, and it was only $20 at Home Goods, and I just thought I have to have this. It's really chic and modern, so I really wanted it in my room. Got that, I said, I have to balance in black now. So whenever you're doing your shelves, you want to make sure you're balancing colors and also balancing objects thing looks more cohesive instead of scattered and cluttered following shelf you'll see I had to figure out how I'm gonna incorporate that black into my shelf so I had a Chanel book that I had on my coffee table that I decided to display it also picks up that black and brings it into the overall color scheme Chanel book was $30 with tax and everything Chanel book you'll see a globe it's a gold globe I have a lot of gold elements in my room and inside of that I have a a yellow candle which incorporates different elements that I have in the room. Across from the candle I have a picture that has blue and yellows and whites in it and it really picks that up as well as other objects I have on the other side. It really plays off of the golds too which I really like. And next to that I have a D. I really wanted to have a marquee D in my room somewhere and at first this was in the bedroom area of my studio apartment and I decided to actually add it to my shelf because I needed more elements of white to pick up and balance that shelf up a little bit. So it picks up the white from the Chanel book and it also picks up the white from the vase that I have that goes with the rug which is perfect. The lastly I bought these things last minute and I actually got them from Hobby Lobby and they were only $1.49 on sale. You have to go to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has so many sales and you'll just, you won't believe it. Like, I believe did not really play up into my scheme that I really wanted to have, whether it did or not, was my travel section. I've become really into traveling and going to different places and I really wanted some an area on my shelf to actually display the different objects that I get from different places. The that I have, they actually play into the flowers that I have on my coffee table. So that's why where that comes from. So it's picking up colors in the room instead of picking up colors on the shelf. On the top, top shelf, I have my um, degree and my certification. Uh, and that's it on my shelves. And I love the way it came out. It's went through so many different like arrangements and I love how I finally got them to look as best as I possibly could because before this was a hot mess let's be honest this was a hot mess but I learned like different elements of how to make things look more chic and less cluttered so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna be doing a lot more decor videos and that's gonna kind of lead up into my apartment tour I guess 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.